I think I missed uh, CM uh, Mohammed Tishan. He is participant number six. So can uh -huh. uh, can you please can I please request CM Mohammed Tishan to yeah yeah. yeah 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 I'm here. Just a second. Am I audible? Yeah, he's participant number six. Yeah yeah. Uh, am I audible? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay okay okay. Just a second. My screen is visible, right? Yes yes. Okay so um. So my name is Mohammed Hassan and I'm a Fresher Chartered Accountant. So I have using AI, I have built a task management application in three key stages. In the first stage, I have generated code using ChatGPT. And uh, in the second stage, I have uh, uh, I have hosted it on Netlify, my code, and I have used Firestore for real-time data storage. Then uh, in the second stage, I, I have done all this because I want the task management app to be in sync. Like even if I open from different uh, laptop, the, the task management uh, application should have the correct sync. So after that, in this stage two, I have integrated it with Telegram. So right now I can just send a message on Telegram and the task will be automatically assigned in my task management application. In the stage three, I have automated uh, emails to clients. Like once a task is completed, it would uh, automatically send an email to the concerned client regarding completion of work, including the invoice amount. So in my presentation, I will focus mainly on stage one uh, and I will provide a brief idea on stage two and stage three. My area of focus is on stage one. So let's start with stage one. So in stage one, first we have to create a Firestore app uh, and during its creation, we will receive its config uh, during its creation itself. So we have to include this config in our ChatGPT prompt. Then we have to send our ChatGPT prompt to uh, ChatGPT. Then after that, we have to create a database on Firebase. So let's focus on first three steps for right now. Create Firestore app, include its config in uh, ChatGPT prompt, and then create database on Firebase. So let's create uh, an app on uh, Firebase first. So this is this is what the Firebase window will look like after you have created an account in it, account on it. And when you create your account, they will ask you to create your first project. So just name uh, some random name. And this is the window you will be seeing. So in this window, click on Add App, click on Web, and just give some random name. So during its creation, you will receive something called a script tag. Uh, this is the this is its config. So this config you have to copy and you have to paste inside your chat GPT prompt. Then after that, just click on continue to console and your Firebase app is ready. So your first step is uh, over uh, and we have to we have pasted the uh, its config in chat GPT prompt. Next, we have to send the prompt to chat GPT. So my prompt is uh, in two parts. In the second part, it's all about the features I need for my task management application. You can customize it according to your needs. So I'm not focusing on that part. In the first part, it's uh, about the specifications. Like I have asked ChatGPT to provide an HTML plus JavaScript task management system. And I have specified that it should be single HTML file. And like I said, I'll be using Firestore for real-time data storage and I'll be hosting on Netlify. And of course, since I'm using Firestore uh, for data storage, I need to use Firestore functions. So like I said, I have pasted the Firebase config, uh, which I received while creating the Firebase app. And uh, here is Firebase database details. So when I create a Firebase database, I have to ensure that I'm using the same collection name and I'm using the same field names, which I'm sending inside the prompt. So let's send the prompt to ChatGPT. So while it's being created, we can move to step three. Let's create a database on Firebase. So we'll do step three right now to open, uh, to create a database, click on build, click on Firestore database. When you uh, create the database for the first time, you will have to select your location. I have already selected mine. So just select Asia South one, then click on start collection. One thing you have to make sure is that the collection name and field names is the same as what you are sending inside your chat GPT prompt. Then you have to create document ID, click on auto ID. Now just send the field names, which was inside your chat GPT prompt. So your database is created uh, and chat GPT has created the code. So the fourth step is to save the chat GPT code and save it, save it in a notepad and name it index.html and save it in a separate folder. 
So I'm going to save this code inside a notepad. I have saved it and I, I have to rename it as index.html. Seems like a small lag, okay. Okay, so now we have to deploy the code on Netlify. That's the fifth step. So open Netlify, after you create a new account, this is what the tab will look like. So under sites, you will see an option called add new sites, click on deploy manually and upload the entire folder, not just the uh, notepad. So upload uploading the folder. So I have placed my index.html in this folder. So I'm going to upload the entire folder. So after uploading it, you will receive a URL so that URL is your website. That, that's your task management application uh, website. Click on open production deploy. So this URL is my website. I have logged in as admin and I'm going to assign a task to one of the staffs. I have assigned the uh, task. And when the task is completed, uh, it would automatically generate an invoice also. Okay. We, we can uh, change the design of the invoice uh, as per our need. Now, if I log into the concern staff's uh, login, here you can see the task has been properly allocated. So we are done with stage one. And now I'll give, like ma major part of the presentation is over. Now I'll give a brief idea about stage two and stage three. So, this stage two is about integrating it with Telegram. So for this, you have to use uh, this uh, website called NA10. In NA10, you can add your own nodes. Like you, you just uh, click on here, and first node should be Telegram node. Uh, click on Telegram. You will see option called Trigger. Under that, click on On Message. So I have already added this uh, to uh, not extend the time. So inside that, you have to connect it with your board. So when you click on this, you have to connect it with your board. So to create a Telegram board, you have to message board father on Telegram. So just search for board father on Telegram. It will have a verified sign over it. Then uh, then when you text a board uh, on Telegram for the first time, you will see a button called start. So click on that start. And uh, after that, you will receive a command list like this. So here you can see the first command is to uh, slash new board is the uh, command to uh, create a new board. So simply send that command and uh, you will be asked to name your board. Just name your board and you will receive a message like this. This is your access token. And by clicking on this, you can message your board. So I have to uh, paste my access token here and I just have to click on save and the connection tested successfully. So the next node is code node and HTTP request node. Inside code node, you, you, you have to put modus run once for all items and uh, the language should be JavaScript. You can get this code from ChatGPT. You simply have to tell ChatGPT about this. Then the next one is the HTTP request node. So I have also filled this one already, uh, but I will give a small explanation. The switch send headers and send body uh, to switch, switch those uh, modules on and uh, type name as content type and uh, application slash JSON. So you can just send a prompt to chat GPT uh, that uh, you want to integrate it to Telegram and the nodes you will be using. And you can uh, define your message format. So just send a message like this to chat GPT and chat GPT will help with that part. After that, uh, once you fill all those, you can click on test workflow and uh, you can uh, send a message like this. So it is working properly. And uh, now if I open my task management application, let me refresh. As you can see, the new task has been properly allotted to the staff simply by texting on Telegram. So stage two is done. Now let's go to stage three. So I don't have much time to explain stage three. It's like a 20 minutes topic. So this is the workflow diagram for stage three. You have to add all these Mom nodes the in last this two minutes. order. Okay, okay. Okay, so you have to add all these nodes in this order. And uh, so 
So you have to add nodes in this order. So first you have to put schedule trigger node and maybe keep a five minutes time gap so that uh, the logic is that once uh, a task uh, a task having invoices not empty and its status is completed, then the second if node will work if the first if node is true. So last update minutes is less than five minutes. So if you have updated something in uh, last five minutes, it would uh, automatically, uh, the, the trigger will run every five minutes. So it would automatically check my Google sheet and check for the client's email ID. And accordingly, it will send the email to the concerned client. So you just have to connect your Google Cloud Firestore over here by clicking on create new credential and service account. These details you can find in your Firestore account. So yeah, so uh, my main topic was stage one, but I have just provided a brief intro on stage two and stage three. Uh, I'm sorry, I couldn't go in much detail about that. So I'm concluding right now. Thank you. Uh, Mohammed, can you just uh, give a summary of what you have discussed in 30 seconds? Workflow. Yeah. Was, yeah. Okay. So first, I have uh, created a task management app, and uh, I have used Firestore and Netlify. Netlify for hosting the code and Firestore for uh, storing my tasks. So I have linked uh, the code. I have hosted the code on Netlify, and I have uh, used Firestore for the storage. And after that, I have integrated it with Telegram. So right now, I can just send a message on Telegram, and the task will be assigned in my task management application. In this stage three. Like once I uh, check the check in the status is completed, the uh, uh, the client will automatically receive an email regarding the completion of the work and uh, the invoice amount. You can also when also when you uh, set as completed in any of the tasks, the invoice is also automatically generated. Like uh, you can see the over way, here. <clears throat> where did you create the notes? In which platform? Is it in uh, Firebase? No, no, no. Node I have created in N18. N18 I have created okay. the nodes. And uh, okay. I have used Firestore for uh, real-time data storage. And I have used Netlify for hosting my code. Because so Firebase code had some, Yeah, on Netlify. Because Firestore had some delay in uh, syncing the task. So I didn't okay. host on Firestore. Rather, I hosted on Netlify. So your, the code has been hosted at a different place and the database is hosted at a different place. Is it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Okay, okay, fine. I think Mohammed, it was so nice and so you know it was a proud feeling that uh, you explained the entire thing in you know such a great manner and seeing you using different technical tools right from HTML to JavaScript, using nodes, databases, and in fact uh, connecting it with third parties like Telegram and creating an integrated solution which can really solve the task management problem task assigning, task updating, task notification. And in fact, at the end, you've also created a code for creating automated bills. And at the same time, sending it to the person to whom we want to send the task as well as the bill. 